Good morning. Good morning. It is amazing to see you. Wow. Welcome. Welcome to Olympia Brown Unitarian Universalist Church. I am the Reverend Danielle Lindstrom. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and it is a joy to be together. A few reminders, and I know that Gregory has shared this, but I'm gonna say it again for us. All are invited, Christmas Eve, Saturday, 4.30, one service, all ages. We're going to celebrate this season again. The following services, Christmas Day and New Year's Day, will be Zoom only. So thank you so much to Patty Riemann and to Suzanne Landis, who will be holding that space for us to gather on Zoom. Our mission as a church is to be a community of hope, challenging us to transform ourselves, promote love and justice, respect all faiths, and shepherd our planet. One of the ways we live into this mission is through partnering with local organizations and sharing the money we gather during our offering. If you're here in the sanctuary, we're still collecting in that red box there on the welcome table. If you're joining us on YouTube, you can see more ways to give at obuuc.org. Our partner for December is the Racine County affiliate of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. NAMI Racine County focuses on advocacy, education, and support. Thank you for your continued generosity. It takes all of us to make our mission true and possible. It has been such a great joy to create all ages services where our full community can worship together. And the nursery is always available downstairs for all ages if you need that space for gathering and play. Jules Jarmio reminds us how beautiful it is to gather in full community. They write, let us take a moment to look around at those of us sharing this sacred space. Just, just look around. People we haven't seen in a while joining us. Our family is. Take, take a minute to turn around and wave to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Let us recognize the hearts of our whole community, from our elders to our youngest and all ages in between. Let us embody the beauty of this whole community, even when there are a few more wiggles and giggles and chatter, probably from my own son somewhere. <clears throat> Let us remind ourselves to listen carefully, to take a deep breath, Begin by breathing peace and joy into this sacred space with three deep breaths. Know that you are surrounded by the love of this community where all are welcome.
This morning, we are celebrating the winter solstice. A little early, I believe solstice is on Wednesday evening this year. The winter solstice is the longest night of the year, the time when our part of the earth is at its furthest tilt away from the sun. We have watched our days get shorter and shorter with less and less light. The solstice invites us to consider what's possible, what is beautiful, what breathes and invites and creates in the darkness of night. This morning, we celebrate the solstice through story and music, tradition and ritual. We begin our service with our shared ritual, lighting our chalice, the symbol of our Unitarian Universalist faith, our words by Jean Wallstrom. In this small flame dwell, the beacon, light of lanterns guiding travelers home, the warmth of fires tended through the generations, the transforming energy of furnaces and the power and life of our sun. May these blessings, warmth and life-giving energy be kindled in each of us. Our reading this morning is Calling and Releasing the Directions by Reverend Bo Rivers. As Unitarian Universalists, we honor and draw upon the wisdom and spirituality of our six sources. Among these sources are the spiritual teachings of earth-centered traditions that celebrate the sacred circle of life and instruct us to live in harmony with the rhythms of nature, to create sacred space in the pagan and earth-based traditions. We begin by casting a circle and calling upon the four directions. Four directions, will you please come forward? Each direction represents one of the four elements, the seasons of the earth, a particular aspect of our being, and unique life-giving properties. As we face and greet each direction, I invite us to open our hearts and minds to attributes of each direction. Spirit of the Spirit of the East, season of spring, elements of air, intellectual aspect of our being, place of birth and rebirth, breath of life, place of enlightenment and illumination, grant us your creativity and intuition, be with us now. Spirit of the South, season of summer, element of fire, the spiritual aspect of our being, place of creativity and inspiration, place of trust and innocence. Grant us your courage and your passion. Be with us now. Spirit of the West, season of autumn, element of water, emotional aspect of our being, place of reflection and introspection, place of endings and new beginnings. Grant us your love and compassion. Be with us now. Spirit of the North, season of winter, element of earth, physical aspect of our being, place of wisdom, knowledge, and discernment, place of rest and peaceful slumber, 
home of our ancestors, where dreams begin. Grant us your endurance and your strength. Be with us now. The circle is cast, the ritual begun. I invite you to rise in body and spirit and join in singing hymn 1063. This is in our Teal Hymn Book. The lyrics are also here on the screen in the Teal Hymn Book 1063 Winter Solstice Chant. Directions, you may be seated. Part of being in community is sharing our joys and our sorrows with one another. We do that in many different ways. Sometimes we share them out loud, sometimes we light candles, sometimes we share in a completely different ritual all together. We all experience comfort and sharing and holding one another in different ways. This morning, you will be invited to come forward and light candles here on our candle tree while we sing uh, our joys and sorrows response. We'll sing the whole thing through. Um, I love to light candles. Does anyone know why we light candles at church? Why do we light candles at church? Why do churches light candles? Yeah. The living soul. Yeah, over here. Oh, he's thinking about Hanukkah and the tradition of lighting candles every day. Yeah, okay, over here. We light candles for peace. Yeah, we light candles for warmth and because they're cozy. What else? We light candles for our intentions, for our hopes. Our wishes, they remind us that we are holding much. Each of us holding a world of joys and sorrows, but when we light them together, we are reminded we don't have to hold them alone. So we are going to sing, There is a Love. We're going to sing it all the way through. And while we sing, you are invited to come forward and light a candle on our candle tree or on the windowsill there behind Gregory.
we light a candle for the joys and the sorrows that are on the hearts of our beloveds joining us on YouTube this morning. Greg, you want to light one more for me? <laughs> we light this candle for those joining us online. And we're going to light one more. And we're going to light that final candle for the joys and sorrows that remain on our hearts this morning. There is a love holding us. There is a love holding all that we love. May we rest. May we know this love. Amen and blessed be. So this morning we have a story to share, but let's just take another big deep breath together. Our story, the first song from This Winter's Night by Mother Tongue. Have you ever wondered why there is so much singing during the holidays? This is the story of the very first song. It's a true story in the sense that all stories are true, for they tell us something real and important about what it means to be human. The story begins a long, long time ago when earth and sun made the first beings, the very first plants and animals and people. It was springtime, and the sun shone warm and bright from his high perch above. And Earth, proud mother that she was, held and fed her newborns and relished them with tenderness and love. It was a time of joy. It was a time of great delight. The moon waxed and waned time and again in the night sky. And the children of the earth grew well and strong through summertime. They played and danced, and earth and sun watched over them. Then autumn came, and the earth began to sleep much longer every day. She grew tired and pale. She could no longer feed her children and had no strength to make new life. High above, the sun grew more distant and took longer to return each morning. The nights grew longer, and cold winds blew where none had bl blown before. The nights grew longer and cold winds blew where none had blown before. And then one day, 
Earth went to sleep and never did wake up. She wrapped herself in a blanket of snow and rested her tired head on pillows of dried leaves. And she did not wake up. Her children could do nothing to rouse her from her slumber. They prodded her, they called her, but she would not awaken. In the sky, the sun was nowhere to be seen, and the children of the earth felt fear and also felt despair. This was the longest night that they had ever known. What shall become of us, they pondered. Earth mother sleeps, and father son is oh so far away that we can barely see him in the sky. He is much too far to hear our call. What shall we do? So they brought their questions and their fears to the moon, the sister of the sun, for they knew not where else to turn. So, 
They brought their questions and their fears to the moon, the sister of the sun, for they knew no, not where else to turn. She closed her eyes and took this slow, deep breath and looked within herself and awoke thoughts that she had never been awakened until then. She opened her soft eyes and said, When hope is lost, the best way to get it back is with a song. Climb the tallest trees, the biggest hills, and the mountains, and Yule a song to reach the sun. Now, Yule is a word from one of the words world's oldest languages. It is related to words like yell or yodel. It means to call out in song. But the first beans had never, ever heard a song. Can you imagine that? They did not know what it was. So once again, they sought out the moon's advice. How shall we yule, they asked. How shall we sing a song? And here's what the moon said. Take the best of what you have, the best of what you are. Take what you love, take what you cherish most. Take your drums and your joys, your dreams and your fondest hopes, and weave them all together into sound. And so the first beans did. They took their drums and they climbed atop the tallest trees, the mountains and the hills. They stood in all the places that would bring them closest to the sun. They shut their eyes and thought the best of thoughts. They felt their deepest feelings. They remembered their finest dreams. And as they did so, their hands began to drum, and their voices rang out with a marvelous sound. Their song, so beautiful, wild, and full, made a bridge across the sky and reached the distant sun. The sun heard. He turned and smiled and wrapped himself in all his light and warmth to where the Yuling voices called. As the sun drew near, the sleeping earth began to stir. She did not yet awake, but she began to dream, a dream of spring. And so it was that the wheel of life made its first turn, and hope 
and joy prevailed. And ever since this time, this time of year has been called Yule in honor of this first song. But there is more to our story. The first song did not end with that first turning of the wheel. The song had such power, such allure, that the first beings kept singing it throughout life. And then the second beings, born of the earth, took up the song, as did the third. And so it has gone ever since, throughout years and years and years, until this very day. At times, the song is very soft and can hardly be heard above the din and clatter of our lives. But when Yule comes, it rises and swells in memory of the night when the sun heard, and life and light returned to earth. And so do we, upon the longest night, in honor of this longest night with this community, with this community we love, are we on the slumbering earth? And so do we, like the first beings, light our fires and take up our drums and send our voices soaring to the sun. And so do we join the first song that was sung so very long ago. I invite you to rise in body and spirit. Sing so the sun can hear us. Hymn 1074 in your teal hymn book. Our words are on the screen. Turn the world around. We come from the fire. Parker. 
For an instant, in the stillness, the chiming of the celestial spheres will be heard as Earth hangs poised in the crystalline darkness and then gracefully tilts. Let there be a season where holiness is heard and the splendor of living is revealed. Stunned to the stillness by beauty, we remember who we are and why we are here. There are inexplicable mysteries. We are not alone in the universe. There moves a wild one who gestures alter Earth's axis toward love. In the immense darkness, everything spins with joy. The cosmos enfold us. We are caught in a web of stars, cradled in a swaying embrace, rocked by a holy night, babes of the universe. Let this be the time when we wake to life like spring wakes in the moment of winter solstice. Amen and blessed be. Closing words. Closing words, The Solstice Teaches Us by David Breeden. The solstice teaches us that darkness comes that darkness goes. The solstice teaches us that light comes, that light goes. The solstice teaches us calmly, silently, to be calm, silent, learning. The solstice teaches us as we circle the sun that everything flies. The solstice teaches us to remember the dark, to remember the light to remember time, the seasons, and love as we circle the sun. Directions, can you come on up? We share our gratitude and release the directions. Spirit of the North, element of earth, season of winter, aspect of body, we thank you for your grounded presence this hour. Stay if you will, go if you must. Farewell and blessed be. Spirit of the West, element of water, season of autumn, aspect of emotion. We thank you for your loving presence this hour. Stay if you will, go if you must. Farewell and blessed be. Spirit of the South, element of fire, season of summer, aspect of spirit. We thank you for your creative presence this hour. Stay if you will, go if you must. Farewell and blessed be. Spirit of the East, element of air, season of spring, aspect of intellect, we thank you for your illuminating presence this hour. Stay if you will, go if you must. Farewell and blessed be. In the coming light, may we find hope, purpose, energy, courage, and bring those to the world. Thank you, Directions. We extinguish our chalice, but not the light of this community. That light cannot be extinguished, for it lives in each of us reminding us that we are connected 
held always in a larger love. So our worship is over, and it is time for our service to begin. So when we leave this, this church today, go now in peace and spread the love shared here with those you meet until we return again. And before you leave, we have a special performance of a song for you, performed by Anna and Reverend Daniel. Stand. Oh,